Hey Frugivore, I'm Freely. Welcome back to the Frugivore Diet channel. So today we are going to react to low carb state of mind on TikTok. Anything low carb, you know how I feel about it. All about the high carb, low carb. It's just ridiculous, especially for the human Frugivore. It's just like, stop it. But anyway, there's a lot of uneducated people out there and there's a lot of marketing opportunities because there's a lot of uneducated ed- uneducated people, it's easy to take advantage of them. So that's why it's important to educate yourself in basic human physiology and that will bring you to a fruit-based diet and then no one can take advantage of you, okay? Like these low-carb people and keto is just ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to respond to that because it's just crazy the amount of followers that she has and the amount of reach now. I don't know what's going on on TikTok, but it it's a, it's a dodgy platform in a lot of ways, but um, anyway, but anyway, if you want to see more of these videos, make sure you vote on it, thumb up or thumb down. And yes, I'm bouncing. Some people hate me bouncing for some reason, but it's just a fitness fit ball. That's all it is. And it, it definitely keeps my energy up when I'm doing these videos. So vote on the video, leave a comment and let's get into it. Let's check out low carb state of mind. Okay, Frugal, here we are on Jackie Hartlube's page on TikTok. Her handle is at low carb state of mind. And she has 4.4 million followers. I do not know what's going on on this app. Honestly, I think everything is inflated. I don't know what is real and what is not, but wow. I mean, the only explanation I can come up with is, okay, if that's not true that they're inflating things, is that she is like a meat shill and they are promoting her and along with like Janelle Rona as well, because this is just strange. You know, these are just like, what, 21 million views on an egg salad? Something is very, very off with TikTok. I am telling you. Anyway, let's get into it. Look, you know how I feel about keto. It's just death to the planet, death to people's health, death to the animals. It's just death on every level. So, of course, I'm not going to be supportive of it. I actually want you to get healthy, you know, and I actually want animals to live out their natural life. But I digress. Let's get into it. Twisted. Okay. Twisted Bacon has 16.7 million views. Okay, this is seriously oh, one of wow. Okay, so it's important to quickly note here she that she is carrying a lot of extra weight. Okay, let's just call it what it is, a spade a spade, make a an observation, a physiological observation here. And it's not a judgment on her character. It's okay to carry excess weight if you are trying to do something about it as in get healthier and you're on a program, you're on a lifestyle that actually works long term. And it isn't hurting animals, obviously, and it's good for your health. And that's great. You know, you might initially gain weight on raw till four, like I did myself for the first couple of years, you know, because I was coming from this past of dieting and metabolic damage, you know, that's fine. But if you're eating the body fat of animals and expecting to get lean long term, it's not going to happen. I'm just saying. The best hacks I've learned from TikTok. I saw a couple videos making this twisted bacon and it looked so good. They said it was. Hang on. It looks so good. How does this look so good? This is the twisted body fat of a pig. And you are a human frugivore. You know what looks so good? A juicy mango or a juicy f- strawberry, right? Um, a twisted piece of body fat. Like this, it's sick. You can see her arm there. She's carrying a lot of extra weight. And she might have lost some weight initially through um, water restriction. That's all it is. You know, they restrict the carbs and then the number comes down on the scales. They're like, yeah, yippee, yippee. It is working, but it's not. It's just water. It's dehydration. You are dehydrated and the weight comes back, you know. It's a perfect combination of crispy and chewy. Oh, I wow. have over two pounds of bacon here going what? on a lined baking sheet. Over two pounds of bacon here. Look, this is incredibly irresponsible. Incredibly irresponsible of her. Look, Jackie, we are in an epidi- We are in the grips of an obesity epidemic. Like, I think you know that. I think you know that. And this is what you're promoting. And for me, it just feels like this is just marketing, marketing, marketing. And keto has been around for a very long time in different forms. It has come in different forms. They keep repackaging it. People keep selling it, you know, in different ways. And it's just disgusting. It is really disgusting because, you know, you can have this happy, happy, joy, joy music behind it, but the reality is just horrible. The reality of people in hospitals suffering painful deaths, popping off the planet from heart disease, like rapidly, the animals suffering from this. You know, we need to strip back this fancy layer of like music and shiny stuff and actually focus on the reality, you know, and it is just, you know, this is not kind to anybody 
with parchment paper make sure you trim the edges unlike me and then i put it in the oven at oh. 350 degrees for about 20 minutes flipped wow. it over um can you say carcinogenic class one carcinogen put it in for another 20 minutes it this is the this is one of the worst things that you can put in your body and she's promoting it as yummy as desirable as eat it jackie I know you're about weight loss, okay? I know you're about weight loss. So listen to the individual who has been the same weight basically for a decade, longer than a decade. That's me eating all the carbs I care for, never restricting my carbs. Like you're restricting your carbs all the time, obviously doing this keto rubbish or you are appearing to, or that's what you're presenting to the audience, but we know better. But um, look, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. You can be lean like me. Look, seriously, I mean, I'm not saying that you want to look, have the exact same body or anything like that, but obviously um, she wants weight loss, right? She wants to be slim and fit. And this is like a natural desire of the human frugivore, of any animal, is just to be how you're meant to be, right? You know, like just to be healthy. And this is how I, this is my healthy weight. It just really never changes. This is my body's set point, basically. So if you want to get to your set point and stay there for life, then this is the lifestyle for you. Raw till four or the frugivore diet. You can find my books, a link to the eBooks in the description below, or you can find the physical books on Amazon and not struggle anymore with like carb restriction. You don't have to. Obviously, carbs aren't making me fat, are they? <laughs> it's, I put it to a good test over a decade. And see, hair is healthy as well. I don't have any deficiencies. I've been on this lifestyle a long time. I've had blood tests. You know, no one can say that this is a deficient diet because I'm just about the only one out there with blood tests up, right? <laughs> so check it out. Link in the description below. Turned out perfect. If you guys try this, be sure to tag me and let me know what oh, you think. wow. Okay, this is serious. Yeah, so obviously that is just twisted hell right there. Oh, tomato bun burger. 16 million. I'm one of those people that could eat a tomato like an apple. Okay, so <laughs> I might do this as a raw foodist, like have tomato like that, but I'm going to be getting enough calories from sweet fruit. I'm not, I'm not going to be restricting my carbohydrates, you know, like in order to have some bunless you know, tomato bun burger like she is doing. This is ridiculous. Well, especially in the summertime, I love a good tomato. I saw a few videos for... I, I just feel like they're hired by the meat industry. I'm telling you, they're doing this kind of thing now. They're doing this because veganism is rising, plant-based is rising, and they're getting scared because we're canceling them. Tomato wrapped burgers from In-N-Out. I had to try it at home. I have a giant beefsteak tomato here. Next time I would slice it. I, I love them. I love beefsteak tomato i think they are just delicious what is she doing just a little bit thinner and then i built it just and see and so the abuse begins the abuse of the tomato begins it's like a regular cheeseburger and then wrapped it up in some parchment paper to make it easier no dte it was still a little bit messy but so good if you try it let me know what you think look the bread is basically the best part of that. Obviously, tomato is great and there's some pickles and stuff like that, but the rest is just like a nightmare for everybody involved, right? Just have the bread. Just have the burger bun, okay? You can see it's not working for her. It is not working. Some of you might say, say oh, she's lost weight. She's obviously not going to get lean eating this way. She's eating the body fat and that's why she's still, gain, she's still um, holding a lot of weight. She's eating the body fat of another animal. It's just like this effortless transfer from the body fat of that animal to your body fat. You can even take like a, a biopsy of your body fat and see what kind of animal you like to eat. So I've said it before, you know, she's part pig. Definitely. She is a large part pig because we've seen bacon a number of times already. And you're a frugivore. You're not meant to be a pig. Quick and easy lunch. So this quick and easy lunch has had 2 million views. We we think right i don't know this is my quick and easy lunch for when i barely have time to make anything i take a couple pieces of lettuce throw on some mayo salt pepper and oregano and then i top that with slices of provolone pepperoni and salami then i literally just roll them up oh, wow. they are so good and filling they taste like a unwitch from jimmy john's oh geez okay so so obviously that's a terrible lunch because you need glucose and fructose I think it's become like a big marketing thing at this point for a lot of people. You know, they've just seen like, oh, people want to want to believe they can eat like this because they're so hungry from starving themselves, from dieting so much. Um, they want to believe that they can eat like this. So they, you know, buy the book and stuff like that. She must be not having a dump. I'm telling you, her dumps must be so painful. 
it must be like monthly or something like that. But a lot of the time these individuals are, I mean, all the time, they're binging out on carbohydrates because they just need to, because they need that glucose and fructose. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make cheeseburger pie. Oh, I'm going to start off by browning okay. some ground beef in an onion. Wow. So, you know, you're not meant to eat animals. So grinding them up into mince is so strange as a human frugal. Stick pan and then adding an entire onion that I diced. Let it cook for a little bit longer and then transfer it to an oven safe dish and let it cool. Now I'm going to mix some eggs together with ketchup, yeah. Worcestershire, mustard, Ooh. heavy cream, mushroom powder, oh onion gosh. powder, salt and pepper. Now I'm going to pour that over the cooled meat mixture, mix it all together, Ooh. top it with cheddar cheese, pickle. Ah, uh, it just looks horrible to me. I mean, and that cheddar cheese, it's so highly, highly processed. I mean, cheese is bad at, you know, full stop anyway, processed or not, but this has got to be one of the most processed cheeses. And bacon, throw it in the oven for about 30 minutes. It's so good. If you guys try it, be sure to tag me. It's not so good. It's just so bad for your arteries, for your, I mean, like constipation, anyone? Like that's what's going to be caused by eating this way. And also diarrhea, you know, it's just probably going to be alternating between the two, which is heartbreaking. I mean, I have lived that life where I was alternating between constipation and diarrhea and it is it is terrible, okay? I've never eaten like this, but, you know, like, bad enough. I have done this metabolic typing diet, which, which had me eating chicken livers. Yes, I know. It was ridiculous. It was horrible. <sighs> um, so, what? It's just... Let's make my favorite breakfast sandwich. Okay, so this is what she's going to eat for breakfast. I think you can see that she actually looks a little bit slimmer here than when she did in the old, um, the newer ones, right? Let's have a look. Let's. Yeah, I would say she's a bit slimmer. So it's definitely not um, heading her in the right direction, of course, because they're not how humans are meant to eat. Make my favorite breakfast sandwich. So you're going to need a little mini waffle maker like oh, this. We've seen I'm using this a dash waffle maker. I have a link for them in my bio. And I'm just going to put okay. a little bit of mozzarella cheese at the bottom. It's so such a deprivation diet. Look at it. Seriously. Some of it with half of an egg whisk. Oh. All around. Snoopy's got like pineapple crash for me. If We have to stop the video. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You go that's real breakfast beauty. Cheers. Oh, thank you. Cheers. No, no, not too. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like taking them both. Cheers. Oh. I'm just looking at low carb state of mind, making some horrible cheese like saturated animal fat thing. So this is a great breakfast. Enjoy. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Um, wow. And then let it cook uh, for about three minutes. I always get questions about these. These are pork sausage patties. Okay. The patties I use, I get them at fully all. Fully cooked. I like how it says on the label, fully cooked, or else it's going to kill you basically. Probably not the best, but they're super convenient. I take these out when the tops are nice and crispy like this. Oh, no. And that is going to be your bread, so you're going to do that twice. I keep mine in my oven. That's going to be a bread. That's going to be a bread. Okay. While I cook the rest of the stuff. So I microwave for these, but I'm going to throw them in the pan and get them crispy. Take them out when they are nice and crispy, and then oh. cook your eggs. I like spreading around the egg whites so they cook evenly. Top the sausages while they're still hot wow. with American cheese. There's just so much saturated animal fat here. It's just... She's... She's creating nutritional deficiencies in herself and in her audience who is following her. Okay, this is a nutrient deficient diet, namely in glucose, right? But so much other, so much, so many other nutrients because she's a human frugivore eating like, you know, not even like carnivore. Well, you know, carnivores don't really eat cheese, um, do they? Obviously, or dairy, but meat. Mm. Dip it in syrup, of course, and you know it's going to be that fake sugar syrup. You know, that's the human fruit we're trying to get some sugar, trying to get some fructose and glucose, but she even denies that, it denies the brain that desire by having the chemical stuff. But you know she's binging out anyway. Let's she just is. She is just binging out. That's how it goes. Yeah, so, like, this is this diet creates nutritional deficiencies, all right? It could, um, liver, kidney issues. It's just water loss. It's just dehydration initially. I mean, a heart attack. Like, you're risking a heart attack, like, big time. So, you know, don't do it, obviously. And these are animals, by the way. These are animals that you can see here being cut up. They were living. They wanted to keep living. And someone said, and she said, no, no, I want to eat you for my five-minute um, heart attack burger, you know, murder burger. I don't want to watch it, okay? I don't want to see any more animals being cut up, and I don't want to hear any more, like – distracting music from the horrors that she is promoting and supporting. 
I don't want to see any more of these lies and I don't want to make this a real negative video, but like seriously, what else can you do when you're watching this unfold? You know, this horror, like it's really, really hard to be positive. That's for sure. You know, I I'm not, don't give up on helping her. That's for sure. But um, I'm just, I'm very disappointed. And I think she, she needs to be called out like this. You need to tell her that this is not okay. You're promoting death to the world. If you want to put it in a sentence, that is it. She's promoting death to the world. Do we need humans doing that in the current like climate of people just popping off from heart disease all over the place and feeling and just like having such ill health? No, we need people promoting veganism, plant-based at the very least. Please make videos yourself and do that. You know, we need to combat this, this hell, right? <sighs> All right. Well, that's my video for today. Keto sucks. Do not do it. It's going to leave you constipated with kidney disease, like kidney stones, liver disease. Like you're not going to be basically having, you're going to be having very painful dumps. That's for sure. You're going to develop nutrient deficiencies in your body and you're going to real and electrolyte imbalance. You're really going to risk having heart issues. Okay. You might pop off very early if you eat this way. And of course, there's the fact that these are animals. Leave them the fuck alone. Let them go and live their life, please. That's all we ask, right? All right. Don't forget to go fruit yourself and I'll see you tomorrow.